everybody. It is Jason and Andy back with the evolution of gaming. Hello. And as you can see here, we are playing Power Stone on the original Sega Dreamcast. Power yes. Stone, one of those games that I played for hours on end. It is a fighting game. It is a very fun and unique fighting game. One that honestly needs to be remade. Yeah, I've I've never. Well, I think I played this once when you brought it over, Jason. But mm -hmm. I was totally lost. Yeah. I've never been able to get into fighting games. This is not my cup of tea. But I know this is one of those games that people have a serious affinity for. Yeah, you and I played it one time, and I just whooped on you. Yeah, because I can't do fighting games yeah. at all. So basically, here this is just the demo that you're seeing beforehand. Obviously, with the you know obvious Capcom.com. Uh, mentioned because back in 1999 there were things called websites that you could go to. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you know, I thought it was a good system, Jason, but it just did not last. Yeah, well, you could actually get on the internet with the Dreamcast, and yep. I still have my web browser CD, and we'll, we'll maybe have to try that out. The Dreamcast was the first console I ever played online. Really? The very first one. Really? Um, I'd never done it before. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and you could totally play this. I'm pretty sure you could play this game online with other people. Um, but essentially, you know, the old school arcade style, you know, in your own house. Uh, I think this was a game that my dad bought for me, and so I just played it. I just played it, never had heard of it before. Uh, the purpose of the game is to basically collect the three power stones during your battles, and from there you get special powers for a limited time. Yeah. So essentially you just have to either beat the stones out of the other opponent <laughs> or you have to get them as they drop into the world. So there is an arcade mode. There's also a, just like a straight up versus mode, which it's skipping past because we only have the one controller put in. Um, we do have two controllers for this we game, do. for this console, though. Yeah. We don't We don't for most of the consoles we have access to. Right. But this is one you, you always had your second controller handy. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And, well, if you look at... You know, if you were able to see the controller that I'm holding, it's got a little bit of a yellowing to it. And if you look at the second controller, it looks like it literally just came out of the box. Wow. Because I barely ever played games with two other people. You yeah. Know, I just, I this was just something that I had. This was, the Dreamcast was the first system that I had that I actually bought um, games for. Like, I actually used my own money to purchase games. Yeah. Like, my legitimate paychecks from work, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, um you can look at the you know Power Stone collections, which you know you'll get them as you play the game, and it just sort of tells the story of you know the Power Stone, which obviously we don't have because we're not working off of anything previous. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the arcade mode. Okay. And essentially, you just choose your opponent, or you choose the person you're going to play with, and at any time, anybody could jump in the game where it says press start button there on the right. Yeah, that's a very arcade idea. Yeah. So I've got, you know, Falcon here. I've got, you know, these other, like, Wang Tang, <laughs> uh, Gunrock. Jack is a really fun character if you're able to control him. Uh, Gluda is really fun, but I'm going to go back to Falcon. No! Oh, good. <laughs> Falcon's always my go-to guy. Very cool. So you've got different stages. The different stages also are destructible. So you can okay. basically pick up just about anything and throw it at your opponent. You've got chests that sort of warp into the... The game and inside those chests are different weapons like machine guns and bazookas, and so you know this is a 3D game. This isn't just your typical. Yeah, this is not a 2D fighter where everyone's or sort of faux 3D where you're still sort of stuck on a flat plane. Right. You can actually go around the environment. This is what broke my brain when when I played it with you that one time. So as you can see here, he just got all three power stones and he is about to hammer down on me. So you're just basically a valid strategy is to just jump around. And so he's not doing much to me because I'm a very good eluder. And so basically once it's done with the the red and blue are always on the map. Then the yellow at some point will warp in. So he is shooting a bazooka at me. I've got the red one up here on these crates. So like I could pick up this crate and like he just, you know, obviously did that. Then there's bombs, so it has a little bit of a countdown. And he just, you know, shift me. And so I'm trying to elude him, which is a very cool thing. I, you know, picked up that crate and threw it behind me as I was running away. That is very cool. You can you can get on this thing here and see how I jumped on the nice. post. I mean, it's just an amazing. I can pick this up and then try to slam him with it. But again, he he's just as equal as I am. It almost feels like I mean I've never 
I haven't played uh, this game very much before, but it almost looks, it reminds me a little bit of like Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, it is. Where you're trying to run around and eluding is just as important as being able to hit somebody. So we have 17 seconds, so basically he has more strength than I do right now, so he would win. So my goal is to just beat him into submission, but he obviously just KO'd me. Okay. So it's just, it's just frantic. It's crazy, yeah. and it's fun. It's so much fun. You just, it's such a fun game to just shut your, your brain off to. And as you saw where I'm standing now, that little heat thing can actually hurt you. Okay. Here, I'll show you. See, oh. that it just shocked me, and then that yeah. fan over there and hurt, hurt him too. Wow, so the environment's not only destructible, but it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah, wow! Yeah, he can pick up the post as well, because <laughs> he's a big dude. So not everyone can pick up the post mm, like that. I don't... Uh, maybe? Not as easily. So again, he's got all the, the things here. I'm a little rusty. Yeah. Well, Jason, the goal is to play, again, the goal of this podcast is to, first of all, play on original hardware, but mm -hmm. we're really interested not just in playing the big hit games, but we're interested in playing sort of the weird, obscure games that no one's ever heard of. Well, this was not a hit game when it came out, but it did get a sequel, which I yeah. never played, and I regret that. Yeah. And right now, it's like $50 online. Like, it's, yeah. it, there's a following. Yeah. Yeah. There's a niche following to this. Yeah. And, and I mean, our other goal is to really, uh, you know, talk about what it's like to play on these old consoles because it's not always a smooth experience. No. You know, it's like, you know, sometimes you get, you know, like a, a X, on Xbox 360, you can get like the Dreamcast collection, which is some emulated versions um, of the older games. Um and uh, it's, it's just different playing with a 360 controller on Dreamcast games. Um, so we'll, we'll have a picture of the Dreamcast controller ah, oh, yeah, he, up there he that you guys can see. But Yeah, but, this, this is very much an arcade game. Yeah, I mean, the thing I remember and about I'm the Dreamcast shamed. controller <laughs> is that uh, it's, it's, it's beefy. It's like one yeah. of the biggest controllers that's ever existed. It's super wide, and it had, it had you know, the, the bottom triggers. So it has it has triggers, but it doesn't have like dual button triggers like the current consoles have. No, they're not on the they're not on the top. They're they under, have shoulder you know, buttons. Yeah, the shoulder buttons. Say. They're underneath. Okay. And they're very comfortable. They're yeah. all within within reach. Um, of course, there's only one. Uh, oh, I'm playing him again. Oh. Oh yes. <laughs> so it gave you another character to get beaten up with. Right. <laughs> Well, and I don't ever remember playing with this character very much, but she is very aerob <laughs> aerobatic. Is, aer is that the right word? Acrobatic. Maybe? Acrobatic. There we go. Okay. I'm like aerobatic. Oh, that's, that sounds slightly racist. But, so the other thing so about I got a, a flamethrower right here. Yeah. The other thing about the Dreamcast controller, uh, I mean, it it was sort of common for consoles at the time to have you would plug the memory packs into the uh, the actual controller rather than the console itself. Uh, but the Dreamcast had the VMUs, yeah. which actually had, like, screens on them, which was a huge deal back in the day. Like, nobody had ever done that before. Um, oh, here we go. I got it. Oh, there we go. Let's see what's, go what's up. The hell? <laughs> yeah, that was my own little special uh, love room, I call it. Yeah. So does the Dreamcast have dual sticks, Jason, or does it just have one? It just has the one. Just the one. Which is really weird, because, you know, going back and playing some old games, you're just kind of wanting to have the dual sticks there. Exactly. Some games are created really poorly, because, you know, well, maybe maybe back then they weren't, but compared to like, oh, I could do this much better with dual sticks. Exactly. I mean, I think, was it, I, I want to say Xbox, the original Xbox, or maybe the PS2 was the first one to do dual sticks. I would say the PS2 was probably the one to do it. Yeah. I don't know what the, what the difference was in the times oh, they came yeah. out, but um, here's her other special move. But definitely wasn't N64. Ooh, <laughs> you don't really. That one's uh, you got to get pretty close for that one. Yeah. So yeah, again, see, and I can't get that power stone because it's up there. Uh, bad power stone placement. So you know. I, uh, <laughs> so it's just gonna be a dropout knockout. Yeah, just let him just let him do it. <laughs> he got it. Uh, he got it. Uh, 
and see how I had to like yeah like, it, you know it was a little yeah look at look how close he was yeah yeah so as you can see here you know it's got the time the total time that I've been playing too so I don't know if that's supposed to be like hey go outside yeah <laughs> you've been playing this for you know two hours I don't know how far up it counts I never honestly paid much attention to that yeah but my favorite thing to do in this game is just to kick people. Yeah. Like, it's just, you jump up in the air, and you can elude them, and then kick them in the face. So, like, he's going after that, and I'm just going to try to, oh, get burned to death, I guess. Uh, oh, and, oh, I was going to try to pick up the bazooka. Cool. Eat bazooka! Because <laughs> that's so realistic. Yeah. You know, Street Fighter, you can't do this stuff in. Yeah. Imagine destructible environments in Street Fighter. And like stuff you can pick up and throw around. I don't know if they ever. Oh! Yeah, I don't know. I've never gotten too much into Street Fighter. I don't think, like. I mean, I know they had, like, stuff you would get thrown into, but I don't know right. how much oh, it affected man. the game. Whooped on me. This guy is way. Not as tough as. You gotta loot him way more. Yeah. I'm not doing too good on this, am I? That's huh. kind of a theme. Like, we do okay when we're not recording. Yeah. And then we go to record and we're just awful. Huh. I don't remember Wang Tang. I just. I remember the name, I just don't remember the character. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So since, uh, Jason, people might be watching this on, well, since people will be watching this on your channel instead of my channel, we should probably explain what the, some of the other rules we're sort of following here. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're posting these on different channels. So some some weeks you'll see it on Jason's channel, some weeks you'll see it on my channel. We're gonna try to alternate. Yes. A oh, bit. watch this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't hit him right. If you yeah. don't hit him right, you lose the ability, and it's not good. Oh no! Can we get this one? Um. So yeah, we're again. I think we might have said this already, but we're we're striving to play on original hardware. We're not gonna do software emulation. We will do uh, stuff that is. Uh, oh, we will do stuff that is uh, backwards compatible, as long as it's not software-based. So, for instance, we're not going to play Xbox games on Xbox 360. Well, yeah, because who because would want that's, to? Yeah, because that's all software-based, uh, and uh, you don't have the original controller there. Oh, so we, are, we will play original Xbox games. We will also play uh, PS1 and PS2 games on PS3, because I have the fully backwards compatible uh, PS3. So we're, we're going to consider that fair game. But uh, we'll we'll see how that uh, develops. But yeah, you'll see all sorts of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Like, I think it, I think the problem is you're trying to talk and play at the same time. Yeah, this is yeah. Fighting games are not good for uh, sort of casual conversation. Um, but uh, but yeah. So we're we've got all sorts of consoles here. If you uh, check out the previous episode, we played Trampoline Terror on the Sega Genesis. Uh, each episode is going to focus on a single game. Right there now, go. there we go. Look at that. He doesn't have the best power moves, to be honest. Now yeah. that I remember that. Um, so each episode is going to focus on on one particular game. We're going to mix up the consoles a little bit. We're going to. Uh, we really want to talk about sort of what uh, what uh, what it was like to play on these old consoles. Um, so we'll uh, we're going to be doing this for a while. We got lots of games to go through, Jason. There we go. And, uh, oh, look at that. Fantastic. There we go. Okay, yeah. got a KO. So, yeah, I mean, this is just a delightful fighting game. I mean, anybody can play this game. It's so unique. I, I, I don't remember how or when I got it. I want to say maybe this was a game someone bought for me. Yeah. I don't think I seeked it out. I had never heard of it yeah. beforehand. It wasn't like a, oh, by the way, I'm playing this. It was just one of those like, oh, I own this now, and, yeah. you know, everyone needs to hear about this game. Yep. Well, this was definitely, you know, when this game came out, it was definitely the early days of the internet. You right. didn't have endless forums where everyone was talking about every game they were playing, and you didn't have review sites too much. I mean, I remember, you know, I used back when IGN was a thing. I remember when there was N64.com right. that had reviews of all the N64 games, and they eventually merged with IGN, and then it was IGN64.com, right. yeah. um, and then that was sort of the start of the IGN. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. <laughs> 
So you, you had a hard time finding games, and a lot of times... <sighs> wow. Uh, you, I think you need to fight a different person. <laughs> nope. We're doing Gunrock versus Gunrock. Which you can do. All right. Just like Street Fighter. But yeah, so a lot of times you would sort of get a game that just the box looked cool. <laughs> or you would get a game that, you know, your grandma would buy for you because she heard you liked games. I'm sure I have a couple games just like that. Um, it was rare that you would sort of... It was definitely hard to find, uh, you know, what games were the cool games. Because you couldn't really trust stuff like Nintendo Power because, you know, they're owned by the company. So... Yeah, this is not good. Ugh. I mean, this is not just a button masher. You have to really think about this. Yeah, well, the, 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 the instruction manual I'm looking at right now says specifically, you will never win if you just punch and kick. No, which is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Because I just need to get past this guy. And this, you know, builds up. So it's like as you, you know, it's like a, a tournament style. So Yeah. I was like, I don't think he was going to do anything there. And so when the power stone resets, you know, the yellow one goes away until a certain point. Now, you know, I've yeah. got the yellow one, and I just kicked him in the face, and I'm going to try to get this red one, and it's not going to work out in my favor. But I'm going to get this one, and avoid the thing over there, and get this one. Oh, I thought I had both of them. No! He's got a knife. Oh! <laughs> I promise I'm really good at this game. <laughs> it's been at least, you know, since the last time we played it, which is at least five years. Oh, it, easily, because I lived in, that was at my previous place of residence, and I've lived here for six years, so. See, just because I picked up the giant post, I don't know if I can pick this one up. No, Ooh. I think you can only pick up one of them, because obviously the map would just collapse on you. Exactly. It's built into the game that way. There's no way they could change that. <laughs> well, I kept thinking I threw that rock at him. I was like, awesome. Nope, don't get in the corner. Don't get in the corner. Ah, I put Jason in the corner. <laughs> Nobody puts Jason in the corner, Jason. Except Flamethrower. Oh, that was a very effective strategy. Yeah, can give me the yellow. There we go. I'm amazed you remember how to do the special moves. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's just left trigger, right trigger. Oh, okay. So, it just depends. Is that a Molotov cocktail? I think it is. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to get it. Oh. He yeah. has some assistance on that one. Well, there was a bomb. Yeah. So, if you can kind of corner them over to the bomb, then, you know, that helps. So, three rounds, you know. Oh. <laughs> And so that, I mean, yeah, the, the world can actually assist you, you know, yeah. before anything else does. But yeah, when you get your power stones, it... Oh, sweet, I just threw them. The only thing you really have to worry about is... Um, I forgot you can... As you can tell, I'm, like, losing consciousness here. Yeah. Jeez, you just cannot get away from that. And of course, ha why haven't I done it yet? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, the yellow one. Oh. oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's find somebody else to play. Yeah, let's look through the... Look oh, I can't. I literally have to play him every well, time. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm saying let's look through the menus or something, because we're getting a little close on time here, so... Let's see what else kind of stuff... I mean, what else? What else could you do with this game besides just this uh, this mode? Well, you could do versus, but that's. I mean, that's. That's two player. That's two player. Okay. And uh, that's. I mean, I don't know what else you would need. Fighting game. Yeah. I mean, I, I I wish we could show more variety if I was actually a little bit better at this game, but. Yeah. I mean, I am. It's just I'm just conversing and. So you can't. 
can you so can you pick your um, yeah, you can pick your own player no 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 I mean I mean can you pick like the, the arena that you're in no it comes with like this is his arena okay so like, you have to fight him in this place yeah and you're kind of stuck fighting him in this place until you beat him essentially yes okay so I'm just gonna pick this up Pick up the gun. I, mean, I can't get away from him. Jeez. Oh my gosh. This is a game that I would love to like play all the way through. Yeah. You know, like a stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. That's crap. Huh. I clearly kicked him. Hmm. Oh, come on! I was gonna say. Perfect, right there. Got him. Oh, yeah, she turns into this, like, weird anime. Huh. Like, cosplay creature. Nope. Nope. Don't want none of your flamethrower. And I'm gonna punch you. Right there. Come on! I'm not that elusive. Uh, and I'm gonna sword your face. And you're gonna throw me. Give me your stone. And nice. I'm going to beat you now. And he's standing right next to the bomb, so maybe he'll die. <laughs> Take that. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a kick. There we go. Yeah, the sort of perspective here. The camera is um, is on. It's doing its own thing, right? Yeah, it kind of. You can't just, control that, right? No. It just sort of tries to give you the best perspective here. All right, I think this should do it. Oh, how did I miss him? All right, well I'm just gonna oh. I'm just gonna go old school with this guy. Yeah, you've got uh, a good amount of. Uh, well, I just have to. Then. I'm just gonna hide behind here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Time out. Hey, that's a that's a valid strategy, I think. Okay, so you you won the yeah because I had the, 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 the time. I had, I had the most left, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot, like, he's real easy if you can get somebody, really, that can jump around like her. Yeah. You know, you do kind of... Certain people work better against certain others, but you got to play all of them. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, absolutely. It's, it's tournament style, so... Well, yeah, because, um, you know, I the only fighting games I've really played extensively are things like Mortal Kombat, like the sure. original, original Genesis Mortal Kombat, um, and... Uh, you know, I, I I got pretty good with a couple of different guys, but it's uh, definitely a challenge to kind of figure out what uh, what really works for you. Ooh. Okay, he's lasting. That's crap. Yeah. That should not have lasted that long. Well, you managed to avoid most of it. He took Viagra, I think. <laughs> Power Stone Viagra. <laughs> oh! Well, he beat me again, so... Ah, uh, well... <laughs> I, you, you can, we're, we're getting a little close on time, Jason, but uh, if you want to try one more, we can do one more. All right. Um... Let me show you Jack, because he's a really unique character. In okay. A, in a, as a fighting game. Okay. He has a really interesting way of walking around the map. So do these guys all have, like, uh, you know... Backstories? Backstories. It looks like they yep. do in the, uh... So, like, how he's walking around? Yeah. He's like a bug or something. No, he's like a... Yeah, he walks kind of like around like a bug, but he's like a mummy. Oh, okay. Well, that makes cool. total sense, then. I, I don't know why I even said anything before that. And he's got, like, blades for, you know, arms. Yeah, it's, this guy's way overpowered. Yeah. Well, and that happens in fighting games, you know? It's like you you know which character... You know, every fighting game in, like, professional leagues, everyone has, like, oh, well, you can't use this character 
in you know in well, not two only, player play. Not only is he overpowered, his environment is overpowered. Yeah. All right, this is fun. What? Oh, that's awesome. Unbelievable. So you get, you know, based on your power stone, like, you know, how you deal with guys, you get that little, like, score. Sure. Oh, my God. All right, Molotov cocktail. Nope, didn't get him. So as you saw there, I got up on that post there. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ooh. God. What? No! <laughs> what? I... Oh. There's some instant replays on this that I'm going to have to go watch. Yeah. Because that was not fair. I never really played with Jack that much. Yeah. Um, he was always real fun to go against. Let me see if I can do his other power-up move. No, I, I forgot. That was uh, right trigger I meant to do left. I wasn't sure which one I had done previous. Yeah. And you pretty much, once you collect a stone, it can be taken away from you. Oh, gosh. Look how much strength he has. Over here. Yeah, right, cool. That was the best one so far. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pick up this and beat you over the face with it. <laughs> nice. Just come here. Oh, he's gonna do it again. And it does a pretty good job at spacing the stones out. Yeah, he's gonna die. Nope. Okay. Then he will by me. Oh, get... oh. Uh, no. no! <laughs> All he's gonna do is get hurt once. No. Yeah, you have fun over there in your temper tantrum corner. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got it. Nice. Jeez. <sighs> but yeah, he's like a little mummy, huh? Arabian looking. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Right, where did that go? Oh, why am I just standing there taking it? Because I can. Uh. Oh. Okay. He's just. Right. Remind me if I get another power up. Does he hit left trigger? Okay, Which left trigger. is not going to happen, so. Gosh. <laughs> Seriously, if you have any. If you have any way of getting this game, get it. Yeah. It's. It's the best. Like I'm getting, I'm getting my ass kicked, and I still want to keep playing it. Yeah. So. All right. I don't know what's going on there, but. Yeah, that's a weird. <laughs> He's a mummy, so he can bend like that. I guess so. I don't know if that's normal though. All we right. might have caught that as a. Yeah. yeah. Bug. All the right. end indeed. <laughs> the end. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Well, that was Power Stone, guys. Yeah. On the original Sega Dreamcast. Uh, so this is the Evolution of Gaming podcast, and I'm Andy. And I'm Jason. We'll see you guys next time.